Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create a social media website on WordPress. So let's begin. Alright, so to create the social media website on the WordPress, that is really easy. First, what we need to do, we have to go inside the appearance and click on the themes. Okay, so in the themes, we have to basically install a theme which is called white dot. So I have already installed this. Now I just have to click on the activate. Perfect. So we have to install this thing and after this what we need to do we have to install two plugins okay so for that we're gonna go inside add new plugin and here i would basically search buddy press here so i will simply install this and i would also install useify okay so you also have to install this now we'll simply go inside install plugins okay so in the install plugins I actually have to activate BuddyPress and the Usify together. So let's just click on the bulk action here. That would be activate. Click on apply. Perfect. So now the BuddyPress and the Usify is installed. So now what we need to do, we actually have to go inside our appearance. Okay. So in the appearance, you can see that we have the menus. So we have to click on this. So here you can see this, I'm having the primary menu, but I'm going to create a new menu here. So let's click on create new menu and let's just add the name here as new menu. And this would be our primary menu. So let's click on create menu. Perfect. Okay. So now you can see the option of the buddy press member here. So sometimes you won't be able to see the option here of the buddy press. So in that scenario, what you would need to do, you will actually scroll up and you can see the option of the screen options. So you would simply click on here and it would actually expand. And now you can see the option of the burning press pages, posts, and you can also see the other options here. So if I just uncheck it from here, now you won't be able to see the buddy press here. So that is why you're going to have to check on this if it is not already done for you. All right, perfect. So if I just click on the buddy press here, you will be able to see that we are having the different options here. Okay. So we are having the profile setting. So these all options are basically related to our social media website. So I'm going to select profile here. We're going to have activity messages, friends, and, uh, and we can also have the settings. And after this, we will have logout. So let's click on add to menu. Perfect. Now let's click on save menu. Now what we have to do, we have to go to our website here. So let's click on visit site. Now you will be able to see our menu here. We have profile, we have setting, we have friends, we have messages, we have activity and the logout. So I'm going to go back here into our menus and here what I need to do, I'll just simply go inside the settings, click on the reading. And here I have to change this to the activity. Okay, the home page to the activity. And now let's click on save changes. And one thing that we need to do here. So for that, we're going to go inside the channel settings. And here you can see the option of membership. So you have to check on this option that anyone can register. Perfect. So now let's just click on save changes again. And now let's go back to our website. Refresh the page. Now you will be able to see our activity page. So in the activity page, basically I can add the post here directly so since i'm already logged in that is why you can see this i'm having the logout option as well so let me just create one post here so this would be my second post and let's click on post here and you will be able to see my second post so we can also add the photo so if i just click on this you can see this i can add the photo from here and we can also add the slideshow course gifs and you can also see the other options here all right so now what we need to do is simply go back into our WordPress dashboard because we have to add the sidebar here. So for the sidebar, we basically have to go inside, let's say the widgets that is basically inside the appearance. So in the widgets, you can see here, we have the activity stream right sidebar. So that is the right sidebar on which we will be adding the things. But before that, I have to check one thing. So for that, I would simply go inside the settings and click on the buddy press. Okay. So here you can see here, all of the components that we have in the buddy press are actually checked. So we can have the extended profiles. We have the account settings, friend connections, private messaging, activity stream, and you can also see the other options here. 
So if I go into the options here, so here you can see here that we have the different options. So here I'm going to enable one thing, which is a low activity stream commenting on posts and comments. So I'm going to enable this. Okay. But before enabling this, I would actually have to go into the components and have to activate the site tracking. Click on save settings. Now let's go back to the options. Let's just enable this option. Click on the save settings again. Perfect. Now simply go back to our widgets. All right. So now what we have to do. So in the activity stream sidebar, I will just simply click on add block here. Let's just click on browse all. And if I scroll down, you will be able to see the widgets of Usify that we have installed. You will also be able to see the widgets of our BuddyPress. Okay. So first what we have to do, we actually have to add this widget, my account. And after this, what we have to add. So I'm going to simply add login form. So after this, I would basically add the members. And after the members, I'm going to add, let's say verified users. And you can basically add any option that you want to add. So I think this is enough. So what I need to do, I'm going to simply update this. And I'm going to simply go to our website, refresh the page. Now you will be able to see my account here. And after this, we have the login form here and we have then the verified users. So you can also add the other options as you have seen in the widgets. Okay. So now what we have to do, we actually have to go back into the menus and we just have to add one more thing into our menu, which is actually for the logged out users, which is the register. So we gotta simply click on add to menu and this is it. And if I just click on save menu and if I go back here, refresh the page, you won't be able to see the register here because the register is only for the logged out users. Okay. So now let's just go here and here you can see the option of the Usify. Click on the membership settings. Here you just have to enable this option. So by default it is disabled, but you would have to enable this option. Then we are good to go here. So now what I need to do, I will just open up the new browser. All right. So I just have to minimize this. Perfect. So let's just open up this one. Okay, so now I'm going to write down the link of our website here. Now you will be able to see my post here, but now you can see we have the register option here. So I can also do the register from here as well, but we also have this on our navigation menu. So I'm going to simply click on this. Okay, so here you can see this, we have the sign up details. So I'm going to quickly create the account here. Then we will simply log in with that account. Okay. All right, so we have filled the detail here. So let's click on sign up. All right, so I have successfully created the account and also verified this. So now we're going to do the simply login here. So let's click on login. And now you will be able to see that we have logged in into our new account. And you can also see the post that I have already created with the other account. So if I had to click on this account here, and if I had to send the message here, so let's click on send message. So let's just add the subject, add the message here. Click on send message and I will simply send the message to my previous account. Perfect. So now I will simply go back to my other browser and I will simply refresh the page here. And now you can see this, I'm having this message here. So if I just click on this, all right, so as you can see here, I got the message from my new user here. So now I'm going to go back to my Google Chrome and here what I can do here. So let's just add the friend request to it. Okay, and we can also create. So let's go back into our activity. And I'll basically create the post here. All right, so now you can see here, I simply uploaded the activity here of the post. So I'm going to simply go back to our main URL. And now you will be able to see our new post here. So this is how we can create the social media website in the WordPress. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.